I'm going to show you how to make YouTube suck less on your mobile phone, your computer, and your TV. Maybe you've also noticed that YouTube feels like it's just getting worse over recent history. From things like pushing way too many advertisements at us, to the removal of good features like the YouTube dislike button, and pushing short form content, the whole thing just feels kinda gross and not as pleasant to use as it used to be. So I'm gonna try to bring you back to when it was good by using different pieces of software on each of our devices. Now I've done extensive research on lots of different options for all of these different devices, and I'm gonna show you my number one choices for computers, cell phones, and TVs. Now if you're just looking for one of those devices, I still think you should stick around for the rest of them because you're gonna see some awesome setups and probably get an idea that you didn't have before. We're gonna start off easy with the computer. The computer is where YouTube always started, watching YouTube videos in the browser. And that's how we're gonna modify it. We're going to select a couple of browser extensions, apply them to any browser that you might be using, and make the whole experience on YouTube a lot better. Now, if you've never installed a browser extension, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this. It's a lot easier than you might be thinking. So we're gonna be using four browser extensions, and you can use these on most any browser that you're probably using. We're gonna be downloading YouTube Enhancer, Remove Shorts, Return Dislike, and uBlock Origin. Now I'm only gonna show you how to install one of these, and then you can follow that same process for the other four that are in the description below. So we're gonna install four browser extensions, each of which is gonna improve a unique aspect of YouTube. The first one that we're going to install is uBlock Origin. This is going to block all of the ads all across YouTube, and it's gonna have the added benefit of blocking all of the ads across all other websites on the internet. The next is Improve YouTube. This is going to add a huge amount of functionality back into YouTube, from simple things like adding in themes, all the way to reorganizing the entire layout of the player, as well as allowing you to speed up beyond times two speeds. The next is Shorts Blocker. Now, this might just be me, but I find that YouTube Shorts don't add a lot of value to my life, and do take up a huge amount of my time. In addition to that, I don't think they look very good on the browser and I'd rather just not see them. So this extension fully removes YouTube Shorts from the YouTube website. They're not showing up in search results, they're not on your navigation bar, and they're not on your home screen. The last is one of my favorites, Return YouTube Dislike. That brings the YouTube Dislike button back so you can see just how good a video is before you invest your time watching it. I find this one so crucial for watching things like tutorials. If the tutorial doesn't pay off what it says it's going to, then I know immediately. Now, how do we get this installed? Well, open up a new Chrome tab. You're going to search extensions. The first result on Google should be the Chrome Web Store. So you're gonna go up to the search bar on the top right hand side and type in the extension that you're looking for. Then on this page, you can click the button that says add to Chrome or add to whatever browser you're using. Click add extension. And there you go. It's been added to your browser. You can now repeat this process for all of the other extensions or just click the links that I have down in the description to add them on quickly. Now, if you want to make changes to any of the settings on the extensions, you can click on this button here that looks like a little puzzle piece and then click on the extension that you want to edit and make changes in here. You can also pin these so you can easily assess them later on. You can now be happy again because your YouTube on the browser sucks a lot less. Let's move on to the other devices. Now, some people might say that the easiest way to fix YouTube is to get YouTube Premium, and you're actually looking at an ex-YouTube Premium subscriber. Now, back when I was feeling very fed up with ads, I just broke down and I bought YouTube Premium. And that did take away the ads, but it didn't really give me any extra features and who actually uses YouTube Music. Now, it was all well and good until I did my budget one day and realized I was paying over $100 a year for YouTube. And that just didn't make any sense to me. So I canceled my subscription, and then when the subscription finally ran out at the end of the month, I was flashbanged with an absolute insane amount of ads. It really felt like during that time period when I had YouTube Premium, they decided, let's add the most amount of ads that we possibly can into the platform. So I quickly went on to research all of the different options there were so I could avoid paying $100 a year and still not have to watch 15 minutes of ad to watch one minute of content. 
Honestly, the ad placement in YouTube now is worse than it was back in cable, when you'd watch a couple minutes of content and then watch four ads. Now it's watch four ads and then watch maybe like a minute and a half of content. It's, it's mind blowing. Now let's move on to fixing YouTube on your cell phone. Back in the day, there was an app called YouTube Vanced and that would allow you to have a ton of extra features and watch zero ads while consuming your YouTube content. Unfortunately, they were of course in breach of YouTube terms of service and they got shut down fairly quickly, but they were replaced with a slew of other options. Now, I've done a lot of research on all of these other options and while you can watch things in the browser and you can download things like the YouTube modded APK, they can be a little sketchy and the user experience isn't exactly fantastic. Now, the app that you should be downloading is called GrayJ. GrayJ is a fully featured app that lets you follow creators instead of following companies. So you can load up your YouTube, watch it without ads, support the content creators, and as a bonus, you can connect a bunch of different types of content websites like Patreon and Twitch. So you can watch all of your favorite content in one app on your phone. Another benefit to GrayJ is that it doesn't break YouTube terms of service unlike some of its competitors, it's very privacy centric, and it's not very difficult to install. So let's do that right now. I'm going to show you the installation of GrayJ on my old Pixel 2 phone. You can just install GrayJ from the Google Play Store like any other app, but I'm going to show you how to get it installed from the browser, which is a more surefire way just in case Google decides they want to magically disappear it from the Play Store. The process of downloading GrayJ is pretty straightforward. First, type in GrayJ app on Google, click on the GrayJ link, and click download. That's going to bring you down here to a couple different builds. You can just click and hold on download Android Universal and click download link. That's going to give you a little pop-up saying that this is an app and it can cause harm. Click OK. Now this is a 290 megabyte download, so it could take a moment. Once it's downloaded, click Open. And that's going to give you a pop-up saying Chrome can't install apps for security purposes. Click on Settings and click Allow this source for Chrome. Then you can click Back and click Install. And there you have it. Now once it's installed, you're gonna go over to sources on the bottom bar, and you can see all of the different sources that you can watch content from if you add. But we're interested in YouTube. So click on YouTube, scroll down and click check for updates. And then click install. That's gonna update the YouTube plugin and now you're ready to watch. GrayJ is gonna remove any ads and it's also gonna add on features like swiping for volume, Another cool thing about GrayJ is it defaults to a polycentric profile for your security, but you can switch between looking at the YouTube comments and the polycentric comments for any video. It's kind of like having a secret second layer of interaction beyond what YouTube allows you to see. Now the last piece of the puzzle here, and sometimes the most intimidating, is the TV. We're gonna go over how to remove ads, get extra features, and just improve the layout of YouTube on your smart TV, but there is one prerequisite. This is only gonna work for either Android, Google, or Amazon Fire Stick based TV setups. If you have a Roku TV like I used to, what I want you to do is to fully reset the TV, do not connect it to the internet, and decline the terms of service. After you've done that, it's going to be essentially a dumb TV that you can just plug stuff into. I personally plugged in an Android box, which I set Roku to immediately switch to that input once the TV turns on. Roku is a sketchy, pretty predatory company, so it's better to steer clear of using them if you value your privacy and your ability to make modifications to your tech. Similar to the other devices, there are a couple of options when it comes to YouTube alternatives on your smart TV, but after trying a bunch of them, I can safely say the best and most user-friendly for beginners is SmartTube. I'm gonna show you how to install it on my TV. From whatever the home screen of your Android TV looks like, we need to get to the App Store. I'm gonna open up the Google Play Store and then go up to the search bar at the top. We first need an app that allows us to download things from the internet. My suggestion is one called Downloader by AFTV News. You can just search Downloader and that should bring it right up. Download the app and install it. And then when you're done, open it up. 
This page has a search bar, which you can enter a URL into, and then whatever file is at that URL, Downloader will download it for you. Now this right here is the most annoying part about setting up SmartTube. It's manually typing in the URL. I'm going to leave it in the description for you, but essentially it's kutt.it forward slash stn underscore stable. There's also a beta version at stn underscore beta that has the features that are one or two releases ahead of stable. But for most people, I would just recommend using the stable release. The developer uses a rolling release system that allows you to almost always have access to those latest cutting edge features. Once you've pressed go, Downloader will automatically download and install the file, but it'll pretty much immediately fail because just like on our phone with GrayJ, we have to allow Downloader to install third-party apps. Click on the settings button that's popped up and then arrow down to Downloader and flip the toggle to allow it to install third-party apps. After that, a modal should pop up and you can just click install to install SmartTube. When you finally open SmartTube, you'll be greeted with the YouTube trending homepage. SmartTube is very much so like the actual YouTube app where you've got different sections in a left-hand navigation bar. What makes SmartTube better than the stock YouTube app is there's no ads and it supports customization and many plugins. You'll see there's plugins for sponsor blocker, that's allowing you to automatically skip the sponsored segments and videos, as well as D-Arrow, a newer plugin that aims to desensationalize titles and thumbnails on YouTube. It also allows you to log in and change around the UI so you can make the experience truly your own. And that's all of them. You should be set up now to have YouTube suck a lot less on all of your devices. This is gonna save you money by not paying for YouTube premium and time by not watching a cacophony of ads every time you wanna look something up online. That's all for today. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you later.